<laughs> Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Welcome back to KHTV. What is cracking with you, YouTube? Shout out to all of the subscribers and the pack addicts. And yeah, I'm at the airport getting ready to head back to Cali. But before we start this video, I want to send a shout out to uh, GG Boxing Life and his other Dessa Sons uh, Instagram page. And his Instagram page is Packers MVP. Shout out to you, man, for your encouraging words and the DM you sent me, man. I really appreciate that. It really goes a long way. Um, shout out to your son, man. Uh, being a Packer, I, a Packers fan, it was it was dope watching him uh, hit the heavy bag with the Aaron Rodgers jersey on, man. He got a mean right hook, man. So shout out to y'all too, man. Appreciate the love. Now let's get into this shit. Damn, dang. Now with all of the COVID protocol situation going on between the NFL PA and the NFL owners. The Washington Redskins have been, well, Washington, formerly known as the Redskins, have been dealing with their own situations with the name of their team and logo. Now, with that going on, more news has come out in this bombshell report from the Washington Post stating that the culture of the Washington, formerly known as Redskins, was pretty alarming you have 15 women who has come out with sexual allegations towards the redskins executives not dan snyder three executives who are no longer with the team two were fired one resigned uh, but they say dan snyder was abusing alcohol and drugs he paid off officials and referees to rig games and there was sex trafficking going on within the team with the cheerleaders. There's reports, alleged reports, saying that cheerleaders' passports were being withheld if they didn't do any sexual favors for season ticket holders. Wow. Wow. Uh, one of the women has showed her face and came out and spoke about the allegations. I think her last name is Applegate. I forget what her first name is, but she has come out and spoken out about this whole situation. There is also <laughs> there is also within the report alleging that there is other owners that are involved with the sex trafficking of cheerleaders. This is crazy. This is insane. Now, I'm pretty sure that the NFL is going to do its due diligence on handling this situation because when the news media outlets get a hold of this topic tomorrow, oh man, oh man, we're going to hear more allegations. Not only that, but they're saying that Dan Snyder paid up to like $2 million to the two officials two million dollars to officials to rig the outcome of games now i kind of find that hard to believe because the washington formerly known as the redskins fucking suck <laughs> so if they was rigging games dan snyder was losing money now they saying that dan snyder needs to sell the team um right now the team is about 1.3 billion dollars that's how much it's worth and it's like the 14th uh, richest team in, in the NFL. Um, Dan Snyder himself is worth about $2.6 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but if he's not implicated in the sexual allegations like Jerry Richardson, the former owner of the Panthers, I don't think that they're going to, you know, kick him off kick him out of the NFL, you know, from being an owner and make him sell the team. I don't, I don't think he, I don't, it, it could go that far if more allegations come out. If some woman come out and say, oh yeah, uh, Dan Snyder did this to me, then I could see it being a huge problem for him and he might have to sell the team. 
but this is just bad timing for the NFL. This is a shit stain, a skid mark on the NFL right now. I mean, you got players talking about they don't want to come back and play because of the, the pandemic. Um, the NFL is trying to figure out if they're going to be able to compensate players if they don't want to come and play because of the pandemic. It's, it's, it's a lot. This, this is too much to be taken on at a time like this with this team. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be players that speak out. I mean, you still have the Jay, the Jay Gruden situation with Capri Bibbs and Alec, the Alex Smith injury. I mean, if, if, if Jay Gruden, if the story is facts that Jay Gruden took Capri Bibbs out of the game to protect Alex Smith on a pass blocking play because him and Capri, Jay Gruden, the coach, and Capri Bibbs, a player, running back, were, seen, were messing around with the same chick and Jay Gruden got jealous on some petty shit and took him out the game and Alex Smith got hurt? Man, Alex Smith, man, Alex Smith gonna call them lawyers up. I could see a lawsuit happening with this situation. I mean, Alex Smith had to have 17 surgeries after that injury. His knee got infected and they had to go back in there again. And he's been out of the NFL since that injury. Look at all the money and the wages he's lost. Think about the mental psyche that puts on his family's mind. Especially if he's talking about he wants to recover and rehab and come back and play. This doesn't look good for the Washington Redskins at all. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some suspensions, some some snatching of of, uh, of draft picks, some fines. Man, this is going to get ugly. This is going to be ugly, and the NFL season is right around the corner. Lot to think about. A lot of news that still got to come out. A lot of things that have to be said. If there are any more people that are going to speak out about the Washington Redskins, formerly known as the Washington Redskins, and the conduct of the culture inside the inside the front office. Oh, this could be this could be bad. And they're saying that there's other owners involved with this. Oof. Oof. I don't know what to say, man, but we'll see what other news come out about the Washington, formerly known as Redskins. <laughs> if it's one thing the NFL will provide during the offseason, believe you me, it's drama. They good at that shit. <laughs> the NFL Players Association has just heard from the NFL front office that they are not going to accept their 48-day uh, uh, preseason plan um, they rejected it so we'll at least get two preseason games um, this season also <laughs> the NFLPA wants to implicate COVID-19 as a football related injury so that it gives the players protection um, this is insane. This is really insane. You know, a lot is on the line with the NFL season, especially when the NFL PA has reported that 72 players have tested positive for COVID-19. The number is probably higher than that. Um, but the NFL is still pushing forward with the with, with with the protocol of of starting the season on time they have sent out a uh i forget how many page docket letting all teams know <laughs> the procedures and protocols that are going to be going to be affecting the 2020 season it has all protocols to deal with players uh 
testing positive for COVID-19 and players who uh, have to quarantine from COVID-19. Um, the details on, uh, on, on, on that particular topic, I haven't seen it yet. But there is a, a docu there is a docket that the NFL has sent out to all of the teams telling them the procedures and protocols of how to deal with a player who has COVID-19. Um, I know that the NFL is still um, trying to figure out a way to compensate players who don't want to play <laughs> this season because of the uh, pandemic. And one of those players who who uh, who who's made a, a huge outcry of his concerns with COVID and dealing with the NFL is JJ Watt. Um, there's other players too. Richard Sher Richard Sherman has spoken out about the whole pandemic situation. Of course, I've told you all about Ezekiel Elliott speaking out on the whole COVID situation, um, and you know the rookies got to the rookies go to training camp, I think, this upcoming week. And then I think it's the uh, AFC goes to training camp before the NFC. I think the NFC goes July 21st to the 25th. And I think the um, AFC goes July 17th to the 24th. So, you know, camp is right around the corner. And the NFL still does not have a plan. One thing that they did say in this docket is, is that they want to test the players three times a week. They want to test the players three times a week. And, you know, the government is still coming out with different test methods of how of, of how to uh, make sure that they get the right type of reading and that they get the right type of results back on time. You know, they have all these different breathing uh breathing machines that they want players to breathe into um of course they still have the cotton swab test and i don't know if they're going to be asking them for blood or anything like that but the nfl has a lot of work to do in order to get this situation under control before the start of the season and they're going to have to talk to the superstar players and 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 wonder and, and wonder and figure out how they feel about you know playing football of course the fans of course the fans you want to know if the fans want to come to games so we've seen nascar we've seen them have twenty thousand fans in their stadium at one of their races and they had everybody social di social distancing but the federal government is in, in all of the political scientists are saying that that's too much so i don't know football got i mean august is right here man august is coming up you know, and we still seeing players get picked up. We still seeing players get these massive contracts. You know, and it just seems like Roger Goodell and the owners, hey, we still going to be playing in September. I don't know how they're going to do all of this without hearing the concerns of safety and protocol from the players that make the league. So we'll just sit back and we're, I know they they had a meeting. The NFL had a meeting uh, this past Sunday. They're scheduled to have another meeting soon. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this Sunday or Monday or Tuesday of next week, but they will be conducting more meetings on trying to figure out this coronavirus thing, um, trying to figure out the protocol and plan and process and how they're going to test players and uh it, it's just one big mess but at the end of the day we want to see them play anyway you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i guess we just have to see see if there will be football 